各位同学，大家好，我是宏光科技大学应用英语系蒋小珍，欢迎收看今天的英文翻译第十讲播出。上次我们在英汉语言的对比一，谈了中文与英文中名词与形容词的对比，今天要谈英汉语言的对比二。首先介绍跟我一块主持节目的王教授。各位同学，大家好，我是东吴大学英文系王安琪。今天要谈中文与英文在三种词类的差异，分别是动词、副词和冠词。首先，我们来看 Part One Principles of Translation 翻译原理。首先来请教王教授，中文和英文在动词上有什么差异？嗯哼，中文和英文在动词上最明显的差异有三个。第一个是英语动词有分及物动词 （transitive verb， 简称 VT） 和不及物动词 （intransitive verb， 简称 VI）， 而汉语中大多数动词都是及物动词。那第二点差异是，英语每一个句子当中。仅仅能够使用一个定式动词，英文叫 finite verbs， 也有称之为主要动词或限定动词。而汉语中一个句子里面可以连续使用几个动词，就是所谓的动词连用。第三点差异是，英语动词又表示时事或是时态，英文叫 tense， 好，他们的特殊的语法方式，用字形的变化来表示现在式、过去式、未来式啊或完成式等等。而汉语动词则利用词汇方式，啊，如去年、现在、明年等等，来表示时间前后的差异。好，我们分别来举例说明。英语中及物动词 vt 就直接连接首词，那不及物动词 vi 它需要先加介系词，再连接首词。例如，我们已讨论过。这个主题 ，We discussed the subject. 谁都可以申请那项奖学金。Anyone can apply for the scholarship. 好，我们看 apply 是不及物动词，要加介系词 for。英语当中每一个句子只能使用一个定式动词或主要动词，所以。汉语句子中的连用动词翻译成英文的时候，也只能使用一个动词，其他的动词就要转换，变成不定词、动名词、介系词、动词分词或是其他的词类。我们举例说明：他努力试图成为一个成功的商人。He tried very hard to become a successful businessman。我们看中文句子中前面动词“试图”。我们先翻成英文 tried 这个做主要动词，后面动词成为就需要转换成不定词 to become。他每天搭公车去上班。He goes to work by bus every day。中文句子中后面动词去已经翻成英文 goes 作为主要动词，那前面动词搭就需要转换成介系词 by。那只白狗摇着尾巴朝他走来。Wagging its tail, the white dog came up to him. 中文句子中后面动词“走来”已经先翻成英文 “came” 作为主要动词。那前面动词“摇着”就需要转变成为现在分词 “wagging”。这项消息令他惊吓，他顿时脸色转为苍白。Frightened by the news. He turned pale immediately. 中文句子中后面的动词转为翻译成英文 turned， 这个作为主要动词。那前面动词惊吓，我们就需要转换成过去分词 frightened。但是也有少数几个例外，譬如，我看到他过街了。I saw him cross the road. 英文有些动词属于感官动词，像是 see, feel, hear, smell。Watch 等，后面必须接原形动词，就等于不定词，省略了 to。我母亲叫我打扫客厅。My mother had me clean the living room。英文还有些动词属于使役动词，例如 have、let、make 等
，后面必须接原形动词，也就等于不定词，省略了 to。英文动词有表示时事或时态 （tense） 的语法方式，用字形变化来表示现在是、过去是、未来是或完成是。而汉语动词则利用词汇的方式，例如去年、现在、明年等，表示时间差别。例如，他现在是位名小说家。He is a famous novelist. 这简单现在是，他以前是位名演员。She, he was a famous actor. 这简单过去是，他五年后会很有钱。He will be very rich five years later. 的未来是啊，我认识他已经五年了。I have known him for five years. 是完成式。我正在写信的时候，电话铃响了。While I was writing a letter, the phone rang. Was writing 是过去进行式 ，rang 是简单过去式。刚才谈的是动词在中英翻译时要注意的地方，现在来谈谈副词。英语中副词通常用来修饰动词、形容词、其他副词、全句等，但是汉语比较少用副词，有时翻译时也会省略。英语中副词也有特性，我们几律说明。英语中副词也有比较级和最高级，汉语则加上比较、最等词汇，例如 fast、faster、fastest。Hard, harder, hardest, happily, more happily, most happily. 好，我们看例句。He pointed out some globally accepted ideas of beauty. 他提出一些普通接受的美的概念。汉语译文中副词 “d” 这 “globally” 这 “d” 我们多半都省略了。How could you possibly expect me to do that? 你怎么能指望我做那件事 ？Possibly 在汉语的译文中可以不必翻出来。接着我们来谈一谈中英语文冠词的差异。英文名词前面都会用到冠词，冠词又分不定冠词 a 或者 an， 还有定冠词 the。而中文语法很少用到冠词，所以除非必要，通常不必特别翻译出来。我们举例说明如下。There was a large audience at the concert. 音乐会有许多观众。注意这英文句子中的 a 哈，不必特别翻成说一个观众。这个 at 呢，也不必翻成在。Her husband had an awful death. 她丈夫死得很惨。英文句中这个 a n n 也不必特别翻成一个。I asked to see the manager. 我要求见经理。英文句中的 the 定冠词也不必特别翻出来。an 或者 a 作为量词的时候，翻译的时候要配合中文语法习惯，加上适当的量词，譬如说 a horse， 一匹马 ；an ox， 一头牛 ；a house， 一栋房子 ；a rope， 一条绳子 ；an owl， 一只猫头鹰 ；a table， 一张桌子 ；a drama， 一出戏剧。A cloud. 一片云。接着我们看 famous quotations 中外名言。A rolling stone gathers no moss. 滚石不生胎。The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. 心有余而力不足。To hit the nail on the head, 一针见血，说得中肯。To make a mountain out of molehill, 小题大做。To live from hand to mouth, 收入仅够糊口。接着是我们 Part Three Dialogue 英文绘画。在观看这一段绘画之前，我们先解说绘画当中一些词汇和片语 （vocabulary and expressions）， 帮助同学来了解内容。Pinpoint， 准确的、确定。Exact， 确切的、精准的。Amazing， 
令人惊讶 ，attend 前往 ，E N M U Eastern New Mexico University 东西墨西哥州大学 ，finishing touches 最后的结束的工作 ，M A degree 硕士学位 ，every two weeks 隔周 ，set to 开始 ，sundown 日落 ，jab 以煎东西吃搓 ，wrist。手腕 sticking out 突出 clinic 诊所 family doctor 家庭医师 landlord 房东 get a shot 注射 penicillin 排尼西林 tonsillitis 扁桃腺炎 ex classmate 以前同学 rusty nail 生锈的钉子 shake up 骚动惊恐 I'll say 可不是嘛。Pray, 祈祷 touched, 受感动的 thoughtful, 细心的 prayer, 祷告 reaction, 反应 common practice, 标准程序 mishap, 不幸事故 occur, 发生 evidently, 显然的 toxoid, 类毒素 extract, 抽出 serum, 僵硬血清 a while. 片刻 ，set out， 开始 ，each， 羊 ，way out， 遥远的 ，prairie， 草原 ，desert， 沙漠 ，swelling， 肿块 ，aka also known as， 别名 ，edema， 浮肿 ，gangrene， 坏疽 ，so off， 锯掉 ，misinterpret， 误解 ，check into， 到达，登记 ，dormitory。宿舍 ，dining hall， 餐厅 ，forehead， 前额 ，campus infirmary， 校园医护室 ，wedding ring， 结婚戒指 ，notch，alcohol， 痕迹 ，lie， 躺卧 ，operating table， 手术台 ，antidote， 解毒剂。今天的英文会话内容是：母亲当年攻读硕士学位时。来回长途奔波的辛苦。You can almost pinpoint the exact date after this long. Amazing. Not really. Mom would attend E N M U at Portals every summer, and put the finishing touches on her M A degree. Coming back to Odessa every two weeks, she would arrive early Friday evening. And since it was 202 miles, 325 kilometers, that means it would still have been light when she reached home. Then, so you said, you all set to work cleaning out the family car before sundown, and she got jabbed in the wrist by a small piece of metal sticking out of the front seat. Tina and I accompanied her to Dr. Byron's clinic Saturday morning. The same one who had been your family doctor when you first moved there and lived just a few steps from his office. Yes, we walked across the yard behind our landlord's place to get a penicillin shot whenever we had tonsillitis. But this was more serious. What she told you about her as classmates dying after stepping on a rusty nail must have shaken you up. I'll say when she. Failed to come out for what seemed like a long time. Tina and I both became extremely worried and prayed for her safe return. She must have been touched to learn of her sweet children's thoughtful prayers. That's how she put it. Yet this reaction to the shots didn't happen right away. Nowadays, it's common practice to wait half an hour in case such a mishap occurs. At that time, it evidently wasn't the case. The toxoid they used was an extract from horses' blood serum and took a while to react. She set out for portals on Sunday about mid-afternoon and took to itching somewhere along the road. Way out on the prairie, almost like a desert, with no one to help her. That swelling, aka edema, could have caused gangrene. If her ring had been stuck on her finger too long, you said they had to sew it off? Well, yes and no. 
I misinterpreted that part a little. She had checked into the dormitory and gone for supper in the dining hall when classmates noticed how red her forehead was getting. The swelling started a few minutes after that. She went to the campus infirmary where a little saw was used to remove her wedding ring. She showed us the notch a couple of weeks later, after she got back to Odessa. Yes, I recall how she'd been lying on an operating table when the doctor said it needed to be cut off. The Eddie doll worked, though, and she slept in the dormitory last night. Happy ending! You can almost pinpoint the exact date after this long. Amazing! Not really. Mom would attend ENMU at Port House every summer and put the finishing touches on her MA degree. Coming back to Odessa every two weeks, she would arrive early Friday evening. And since it was 202 miles, 325 kilometers, that means it would still have been light when she reached home. Then, so you said, you all said to work cleaning out the family car before sundown. And she got dragged in the wrist by a small piece of metal sticking out of the front seat. Tina and I accompanied her to Dr. Byron's clinic Saturday morning. The same one who had been your family doctor when you first moved there and lived just a few steps from his office? Yes, we walked across the yard behind our landlord's place to get a penicillin shot whenever we had tonsillitis. But this was more serious. What she told you about her as classmates dying after stepping on a rusty nail must have shaken you up. I'll say, when she failed to come out for what seemed like a long time. Tina and I both became extremely worried and prayed for her safe return. She must have been touched to learn of her sweet children's thoughtful prayers. That's how she put it. Yes, this reaction to the shots didn't happen right away. Nowadays, it's common practice to wait half an hour in case such a mishap occurs. At that time, it evidently wasn't the case. The toxoid they used was an extract from horse's blood serum and took a while to react. She set out for portals on Sunday about mid-afternoon and took to itching somewhere along the road. Way out on the prairie, almost like a desert, with no one to help her. Less swelling, aka edema, could have caused gangrene if her ring had been stuck on her finger too long. You said they had to sew it off? Well, yes and no. I misinterpreted that part a little. She had checked into the dormitory and gone for supper in the dining hall when classmates noticed how red her forehead was getting. The swelling started a few minutes after that. She went to the campus infirmary where a little saw was used to remove her wedding ring. She showed us the notch a couple of weeks later, after she got back to Odessa. Yes, I recall how she'd been lying on an operating table when the doctor said it needed to be cut off. The Eddie doll worked, though, and she slept in the dormitory last night. Happy ending! 好,接着我们从刚才英文绘画里面 我们挑几个选择题来做问题 Questions 问同学 Question 1 What is the main subject of this conversation? A. Health B. Transportation C. Religion D. Academics A. Health Question 2 What does the second speaker imply about her mother? A. Her mother survived an auto collision B. Her mother died while undergoing surgery C. Her mother holds an advanced degree. D. None of this. C. Her mother holds an advanced degree. Question 3. Who is Tina? A. The first speaker's aunt. B. The second speaker's sister. C. The second speaker's wife. D. The second speaker's cousin. B. The second speaker's sister. Question 4. What do we learn about the second speaker? A. She will enroll in graduate school. B. She is now considering a divorce. 
C. She always wanted to be a teacher. D. She once lived in a dry climate. D. She once lived in a dry climate. 好，最后我们来看 Part Four. Let's practice. 句型翻译练习。从我们刚刚英文绘画里面，我们挑几个例句出来，来做一些句型翻译练习。And since it was two hundred and two miles, three hundred and twenty-five kilometers, that means it would still have been light when she reached home. 因为距离为两百零二英里，三百二十五公里，所以她到家的时候天还是亮的。Since 由于既然，既然我们在城里，我们可以去看看他们。Since we were in town, we could stop by and visit them. Since we were in town, we could stop and visit them. 我们看哪边错了？第二个 ，stop by 有 by 表示说顺道的意思 ，stop 变停止就不对了哈。我们另外翻翻看。It was convenient to visit their place because we had arrived in town. 好，方便是 convenient。既然时间还早，我们看场电影吧。Since time is early, we can go see a movie. Since it was early, we can go see a movie. 看哪边有错？第一个错，因为里面时间用 it 讲就好了，不要用 time 啊。time 看很怪。好，我们另外翻翻看。It's early enough for us to go watch a film. 好，我们看 watch a film 也是看电影 ，see a movie 也是，这两个可以交换。Tina and I accompanied her to Dr. Brian's clinic Saturday morning. 星期六早上，缇娜和我。陪他到布莱恩医师的诊所。我们看 ，company 是陪伴、随同。他的哥哥陪他一起练习高尔夫球。His brother accompanied him to practice golf. His brother accompanied him to practice the golf. 我们看哪边错了？好，第二个错了，因为运动里面这个 the 定冠词不要加哈。好，另外翻翻看。He and his brother headed for the links together. 高尔夫球场可以讲 links 哈。根据天气预报，这场风暴将夹带大量雨水。According to the weather forecast, the storm will be accompanied by heavy rain. According to the weather forecast, the storm will accompany heavy rain. 看哪边有错？第二个错，因为这个风暴是被夹带的水，就 will be accompanied by 哈，不用被动式是错的。另外翻翻看 ，The weatherman tells us to expect torrential rains. With this storm, 好 torrential rain 就是倾盆大雨，很大的雨的意思哈。下面 ，She must have been touched to learn of her sweet children's thoughtful prayers. 倘若她知道她可爱的子女为她贴心祈祷，肯定大受感动。我们要学 learn of 获悉的意思。我们一得知球队赢得比赛，就马上开始庆祝。We started to celebrate as soon as we learned the team won the game. We started to celebrate as soon as we learned of the team won the game. 看哪边有错？第二个错，后面是一个 the team won the game 是个句子 ，of 不能接句子哈。好，我们看另外翻翻看。On hearing of our team's victory, we began celebrating. 好，胜利是 victory。我们看 begin 后面加 ing 哈 ，begin 这个 celebrating 很好。刚得知今天早上花莲地区发生强烈地震的消息。I've just learned of the strong earthquake which hit e d the Hualien area this morning. I've just learned of the strong earthquake which hit the Hualien area this morning. 看哪边错？对我们这个 hit 英文是 hit hit hit。过去式、过去分词都一样，不可以加 t e d 哈。另外翻翻看。A short time ago, I heard of this morning's tremor that shook Hualien. 好 ，earthquake 用 tremor 也可以。下面。Nowadays, it's common practice to wait half an hour in case such a mishap occurs. 目前等待半个小时为一般的做法，以防事故发生。我们看 common practice 一般的做法。通常人们在起床后会喝杯水
It's common practice for people to have a glass of water as soon as they wake up. It's common practice for people have a glass of water as soon as they wake up. 看哪边错？第二个错。这句话已经有意义只是动词了。你第二个动词说要加 to 哈。另外翻翻看。Many people have the custom of drinking water right after they roll out of bed. 我们看习惯叫 custom。起床醒来 ，roll out of bed， 从床上下来也可以哈。下面，在台北一般人都搭捷运上班。Take MRT to work is a common practice in Taipei. Taking MRT to work is a common practice in Taipei. 我们看哪边错了？第一个错了，很多同学都用动词做主词，不行哈。动词你要变成名词，变成动名词 taking 哈，才可以做主词，因为意思是动词了。那我们看 MRT 是我们的捷运哈，原来它是 M 是 mass 的意思 ，R 是 rapid，T 是 transit， 叫 MRT 捷运哈。好，我们另外翻翻看 ，The subway is a typical means of getting to one's jobs in Taipei。好 ，subway 也是捷运的意思。那么 typical means 就是一般的做法，一般的现象哈。好，下面 she had checked into the dormitory and gone for supper in the dining hall. 她到达宿舍，并且登记了，已经去了饭厅用晚餐。我们来学 check into 或 check in 是登记的意思。我们已经到达饭店，办好登记了。We have already checked into the hotel. We have already checked into the hotel. 看哪边有错。第一个同学，你要做完成式的时候是 check 要加 ed checked 啊。来，我们看另外的做法。We have registered at the front desk already. 好，其实 check into check in 跟 register 都是登记的意思哈。那我们到饭店都是 front desk， 就是前面的柜台去登记了。再来，有多少这种病人已到医院报道 ？How much such patients have checked in at the hospital? How many such patients have checked in at the hospital? 看哪边有错？对，多少我们中文哈都是 how much how many 都一样，你要看后面接什么。如果说 patients 是可以数的，一定是 how many。那钱是 how much money 不能加 s 哈。好，我们看另外的方法。How many cases of this malady have registered at the hospital? 好，我们看 malady 是疾病的意思，这种疾病有多少人呢？哈，登记是 registered。好，我们今天练习的蛮重要的，因为动词是这个句子的骨架，就是这种地方，所以它怎么变化你要学到哈。副词也是英文很多哈，那么的冠词也是很重要的。那我们今天先讲到这里。那么下次呢，我们要谈英汉语言的对比三。那讨论英汉语言中有代名词啊、介系词啊、连接词的差异。那我们下次见啦，拜拜，拜拜。